you okay? You all right? About time you woke up. I was starting to think maybe they'd fried your brains or something. You got a headache, right? Don't worry. That'll get better. I don't know if it'll matter, but it'll get better. They must really like you. At least they let me keep my clothes. Looks like they stripped you of everything. Crazy, ain't it? I thought I'd seen some shit out there in the waste, but nothing like this. Not a whole lot of good news going around right now. If you're lucky, they'll leave you alone for a while. If not, well, then it's been nice chatting with you. Your guess is as good as mine. I can't understand what they're saying. I don't remember half of what they did to me. And that might be a good thing. I know we ain't the only ones. There's a whole bunch of us in here. They'll pluck folks out every now and then. Sometimes they bring them back, sometimes they don't. Either way, I ain't keen to find out what they're doing. You've got it all wrong, kid. You're in here with me. This is my little slice of heaven, not yours. Not a good time for jokes, I guess. Look, I don't know why they put you in here with me. Maybe it's another experiment. Not like I can ask them to find out. But since you asked, name's Soma. Beyond that, I'm thinking not much matters if we're gonna stay stuck in here. I've been here for a little while, but haven't found a way to... Shit, you hear that? It's coming again. Get back against the wall now. coming for us. I'm thinking maybe now you can understand it's a good idea to get the hell out of here? What, you've never seen a giant metal claw scoop somebody up and carry them off to who knows where? I don't know where they're taking him, and I'm not interested in staying here long enough to find out. We gotta get out of here, kid. Now! Okay, yeah, let's do something about getting out. Well, there ain't no easy way out. Trust me, I've looked. Can't even find anything to pry open, see what's blocking the doorway. I'm thinking they did us a favor, putting us together in here like this. And I say we use it to our advantage. They're keeping an eye on us, you know. Watching us. So I say we give them a little show. Give them a reason to pay a little extra attention to us. They want us alive for... Something. Who knows what? Point is, if it looks like one of us is going to kill the other, they'll step in to stop it. So that's what we do. We throw a few punches, make it look real, and then jump them when they come in to break it up. Hell if I know, but at least it's a start. It's better than sitting here waiting for them to experiment on us even more. You gotta be kidding me. You always this paranoid? Think about it. You've been lying here a while now, out cold. If I wanted you dead, why wait till now? I could have just made sure you never woke up. No fuss at all. But I didn't, did I? So yeah, I'm thinking you can afford to show me a little trust. Now are we doing this or what? All right, I'll hold back on you. Make sure you don't get too roughed up, okay? And you be ready. Soon as they come in to get us, you take them down. Hit me! Come on, hit me! Come on, make it look good. Now 
Sounds okay. Get- Grab anything useful and let's go. Who knows how long it'll be before they send more after us. Okay, we got to find a way out of here. Oh, really? Suddenly you have all the answers. Listen, kid, I'm all ears if you've got an idea. But there's no way you've got any more idea of what's going on here than I do. None of it is real. It can't hurt me if it's not real. into this thing? Just talk? I, I don't have to do anything else? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow! All right! Ow! I said all right, just stop! Hello. Um, hello. My name is Andrew Endicott. On the night of May 17th, the year of our Lord 1697, I was... I was taken from my home in Salem Village. I... I do not know where I am exactly, or why I came to be here. I've seen through... windows, the stars, and sun, 
and beloved Earth, down there below me. So it would seem I am aboard some vessel suspended in the ether. Ironically, it would seem so close to where I thought heaven must surely lie. But this is not heaven, and my captors are not angels. I'm not entirely unconvinced that the scripture is wrong, that heaven and hell are reversed. For my captives are devils, demons from my nightmares. Even now, they watch me, make me talk. They seem to want me to tell my story. I know not why. A record of their deeds, perhaps? Or am I just a pawn in some, some evil game? And there are others, other captives, I mean. From whence they came, I cannot say. Some wear strange dress, as if they are from a different time. And some are frozen as an ice, unmoving, but I think alive. I believe they plan the same fate for me. Will I be frozen too? Will I? Oh, Ow! Stop it! I did what you said! You wanted me to talk, so I talked. Just leave me. Leave me be. Hello? Hi! Hi there! Listen, can you let me out of here? What the hell is this thing? What are we supposed to do with it? You have to shut that off to open the door here. Well, not really shut it off. More like, blow it up. If you turn off the coolant, it'll get really hot and then explode. So be careful. Do you want to see the rest of this place? I've seen a bunch. I can show you if you want. I can help! Honest! to get out of here, right? I told you I can help. Sure. So much for that idea. She suckered you good, huh? See? I told you I could help. Sure. I love exploring, and it's been a while since I've been out and about. We'll have to be careful, because they'll be mad that we're out. But it's okay. I know how to get through the steamworks. We need to get to the big engine room, so I can show you the rest of the ship. Let's go. Oh, I've been here a while. A long while. Sometimes, I can sneak out of my cell and go explore. I've seen a bunch of the ship. It's pretty neat. But they always catch me and put me back here. I don't have any family anymore. My mom and dad died a while ago, before I ended up here. You know back when all the bombs dropped on everything. Yeah, it was right after that. 
And then me and my sister, we got pulled up here. Except, I haven't seen her in a long time. Sure! We need to go to the big engine thing, and then from there we can go up to the top of the ship. That's where the guy in charge is. I've only seen him once or twice, but he's extra mean. I guess you'll probably have to kill him or something, huh? Okay, come on! Listen, I know how this shit works. We all go together, and we all get wiped out at the same time. No offense, but I'm gonna hang back for a bit. You need someone to keep an eye out behind you anyway. Don't worry, I'll catch up with you soon enough. after they poked and prodded me, and now I just hope they won't kill us! Just take it easy. If they wanted us dead, we'd be dead. They must need something from us. Yeah, they need us for food or something. You saw that guy. He was all cut open, like he'd been butchered. Oh my god, we're gonna be next! Hey, I said calm down. If they hear you, they may come for us. Try and take it easy. No! Get us the hell out of here! Someone get us out! Please! I said to shut up! I'm sorry, I'm sorry I did that. Please forgive me. We need to keep our heads on straight if we're going to survive. Please, please. I just want to go home. I just want to go home. Wait here for a second. There's more of them coming. I guess they're already looking for us. I can sneak past them in the vents, but you're too big to fit. We'll have to figure out how to get around. But I can help! I guess they're already looking for it. Okay. Well, good luck. I'm going to get out of sight. Don't worry, I'll stay nearby and help when I can.
ridiculous. I demand to see whomever's in charge. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know. Ow! Do you have any idea who you're dealing with? Yeah, but uh, you get Ow! Top it! I am a U.S. Senator, and I warn you, if any harm comes to me, you'll bring the full wrath of the U.S. military upon yourselves. What? Where are you taking me? Get your goddamn hands off me! You'll all pay for this. The U.S. doesn't bargain with aliens! <laughs>
way, no way. This is a bad dream, right? I'm dreaming. Shit. So what, I'm being held hostage now or something? I'm some kind of prisoner? Listen, if this is because of what we did, I just work for those guys, okay? It's not like I enjoyed it. I was just in it for the caps, all right? Can I go now? Uh, yeah. yeah, I know. Where am I? Where's my sister? I can hear some weird noises, but I can't see you. Why is it so dark in here? What's this machine? Please, someone talk to me. I want to go home. Please, where's my mommy and daddy? I just want to go home. Oh, right. Oh, oh, oh. wait. I've seen the others. I'll do what you want. This is Dr. Morrison Rand, professor of anthropological archaeology at Banfield College, Humboldt, Oregon. Shortly after 10 p.m. on August 16th, 2041, as I was leaving the college campus, headed to my car, I saw a blinding light. It just appeared in the sky directly over me. I was blinded. I also found my body completely immobilized. I couldn't move. Not, not at all. What happened next? I don't remember much. What? What is certainly clear now is that I was abducted. I am now the captive of an alien race. Many people held here, against our will. And like those others, I am recording who I am. Why? Because the aliens want us to for some reason. They have us do it right before they put us into some kind of suspended energy. Oh! So it was difficult creating our own library catalog entries before we get put into a giant collection. The entire experience would be fascinating if I weren't so... <laughs> ...terrified. Uh, what? Stop. You want me to stop now? All right, all right, see? I'm stopping. 